is one thing that when you have a party or a gathering of people that you always have? Something you always have. When you have a birthday, something you always have. A cake. Something to eat, right? When your parents invite people over, what happens? You always have something to eat, right? Very important because it keeps us on things we eat, keep us alive. And also, they're a great sign that others are concerned with us too, that we have food to eat. And so when we invite someone over, the people who do the inviting and give them some food, they give some of themselves something that they work for and something they may give it to their friends because it nourishes the body, it nourishes friendship, it nourishes all kinds of things. And so, it's no surprise that when Jesus came and he wanted to share his life with us, he did it in a way that looks like food that he gave his very self, not, not cake or buns or hot dogs or anything like that, but he gives himself. And we see that in the form of, in the form of what? Form of what? What does it look like? Bread, right? A little piece of bread, which is Jesus giving himself to us so that we might have good life. And good life, what, what's the really the good life? What is that the most? To get to heaven. So we eat food at parties and, and, and at home and for breakfast and for lunch and supper and so on, so that we may grow strong and be healthy. Well, Jesus gives us not, not a cake, or things like that, but himself, that we may grow strong. Now parents, I try and explain this to kids. A number of things I was thinking about last night. How do we talk about parties when we can't have parties with this virus going on? Anyway, you remember parties? Uh huh. And look forward to another one probably at the at least at home, when you're in a, in a bubble situation, you can do anything you want, right? You don't have to distance when you're in a bubble, when you're in a group. But <clears throat> parents, it's hard for kids to really comprehend, maybe even for ourselves, that Jesus is present in this, what looks like bread. By the power of the priesthood, Christ made it so that it would, he would change this into his very self. Now we have trouble with how we're going to help the kids to, know, to appreciate this and, and realize it by what we do. If we see it's important to come to, come to church to celebrate our faith, even, even when there's a virus that's stopping us from doing it so that we can get through this and get back to, to the way we like to live. But... <clears throat> It's hard for the kids to understand all this, but they understand it through your example, through your witness. Most important thing is they see you participate, see you, that they, they see that you think this is, and you realize that this is very important and it will become important for them. And they will come to realize just what this is all about that Jesus gives us his very self to help us to be strong, to be good, to get to heaven. And so it's a great day for the little kids to receive communion for the first time, but it's also a time when parents, you have to be better witnesses and witnesses more of the faith that you have so that your children will be able to share that. And one thing, how do you know you are a member of God's family? How do you know that? 
Because you were what? What? Because you were baptized. So now you're getting into, now you're be, going to be able to receive communion when you come to Mass. You've taken another step closer to God. And you become more and more, not just for a blessing now, but for receive Jesus himself. You become more a member of his community. And so, a neat thing you can do when you have supper tonight, get your baptism candles and light them and put them on the table and let them burn for a little while because that's a reminder that you were baptized and that's why you're here. And that's why you want to go to communion when you come to Mass, so that you can receive Jesus to help you to be the very best person you can be. That's our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ.